Look at some spoiled kids, right? Because we can, we can relate to kids. We can relate to kids, can't we? Huh? We can all relate to that. The eternal struggle to find that inner balance between necessity and desire, right? Not that it means anything, but I mean, hell, it's worth pointing out. So, I mean, it's so painfully obvious, isn't it? It's so unfathomably freaking obvious to you, right? Now, now. This particular clip that I'm going to show to you, this, this, these bits and pieces of material that I'm going to show to you all are courtesy of YouTube user Top Clips, which, by the way, is merely a collector of vines and memes, so to speak. Not, not that it means anything, but I just have to point that out because it's necessary, because it needs to be done. Okay, on second thought, let's go ahead and get right to the action. Yeah, man. He's reading comments. He's coming. He's yelling. Where did he go? I like he went to draw. I don't know where he was. Does it even matter at this point? I don't know why this kid is still living, much less with his parents. You know, you know, you know, you know, you and your spouse have made a mistake when you made a kid who doesn't do jack crap for anybody. Not even one's own mother. Oh my God! This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I'd be too if I were in that guy's shoes. Oh boy, this is this is just I I tell I'm telling you, man, I'm being legit here. This is not going to end well at all. I'm I'm telling you, I I kid you not. This this is just not going to end well for this poor son of a gun. Okay. Yeah, man, this is just yeah, man. He's destroying it all right. And it's going to be perfectly justified, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hey, Yeah. I got, I got your laptop there. Now, now. Oh my you god. Go, you your 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 laptop, post the ultimate act of like social justice. If this is social justice done yeah, right, yeah, yeah, then that's obviously the right way to go about it. But $346,000 worth of software in there for you. Oh, yeah, man. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Because, because I tried to do something good for you, you, and you repay me, me with this. this. So see this here? This is my 380. All right. Oh, my God. I wouldn't purchase it yesterday, and you pay for this, too. This woman's going to get it. She's going to get it so bad. Oh, my God. Watch this. This is a pretty powerful weapon I got right here. Yeah. All right. This is my gun. Gash your laptop. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh. Ain't no coming no 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 no. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. 
All right, there don't we go. you just love it? So, so if this is where people get their toes. Don't you not go there? Because I'll tell you what, I do. Especially if they have like a bunch of horses, right? Just so, so you, know, you know, I play, I play all, all the fierce and rounds, rounds that can that stop the tape next time. time. You know my top down here, Mr. Go. See that? 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 That's for you, Danny May. I told this one. That's for that whole guy that's all the way here. And that's for you, Black. Ha, 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 ha. Hold on, I ain't done here. Oh, you know, good wait. lord. Mm. You are all here. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, <laughs> that's that for my time. Yep. That's that good. Because, because, because reasons. That's for making, making me have to purchase this gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> and remember, I'm doing this because I love you. I don't, don't want to see you burst out in the Oh my god. Okay, okay. You're doing it right. 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 You're Washington wants to spoil people get their lives destroyed with the technology. Pretty darn good at it, man. All right. All right. And that, my friends, is justice. Justice personified. There's really no other way to explain it. That was. Um. Yay! We had a black man for president for eight years! <laughs> yeah, I was sick, wait. You know, even when you're hungry. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's it.
better. <laughs> yeah, I can do this all day long. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite Will of Fortune episode ever. This this guy from I believe Indiana University or is it Illinois? It, it might as well be Illinois because that's where Barack Obama was from. Except he wasn't born there. He was actually, for say, he moved there illegally from Hawaii. Years after illegally moving to Hawaii from his birth country of Kenya, but that's for a completely different episode, right? Okay. Julian Betts, Will of Fortune, dumbest Will of Fortune player ever. You can't get any dumber than that, people. And race has nothing to do with it, either. Race is completely irrelevant here. White people are probably just as dumb as him, too. I would know, because I've made some pretty dumb claims in my life, so anybody could be in the moment and fail to deliver and have a brain fart of epic proportions, like this sad, sorry son of a gun, who happened to be unfortunate enough to blow his entire parents' life savings, to spend four years at a university that isn't going to teach him crap. I'll tell you what happened to this guy later on. This happened. See! Yeah, they're too see. From game show garbage and Robert wow. Saddleman. Okay. I saw. Oh, I don't have an idea, yeah. <laughs> Mythological hero HLS. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm dead. I'm just, I'm dead. I am so, f I'm dead. You know, Achilles is such a very, very confusing word to pronounce. You could have pronounced it a billion other incorrect ways. You could have pronounced it Achilles or Achilles or Achilles or Achilles or Achilles or Achilles or, I mean, any damn thing except Achilles or Achilles or whatever the fuck. Oh my god. Yeesh! I can't accept that. Obviously. Okay. Shovel. I'll solve. Yeah. Mythological hero Achilles. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh boy. Well, oh, shit. You know, in one respect. Oh shit. You don't say. Now. You know what? Okay, I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay. This guy went on to win the game despite having made several other careless, infamous errors, the likes of which sealed his fate as being the worst Wheel of Fortune contestant in the show's almost 50-year history by this point. Because you think the original run was hosted by Chuck Woolery from the early 70s to the mid-80s. And then Pat Sajak came in, and he took the reins from there, and he's been doing the best job possible ever since. And and it's just, ah, uh, I don't know. Makes me even more ashamed, or at this point, kind of more blessed to be a millennial, because millennials are so impossibly stupid sometimes. You can't, you know... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. Ugh. Okay, let's just go on with this. Now, when he said Achilles, this guy had the misfortune of of having the million dollar wedge. He had everything in his now get one little word. He had everything at his disposal. All he had to do was spell the word man. Me. And obviously he was trying to spell the word car, which is not in the puzzle. Obviously the last word that was in the puzzle was man, right? 
All right, then he makes this stupid. This 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 is why I'm ashamed and blessed at the same time to be millennial. Okay, watch this. Let's solve. Go ahead. On the spot dice spin. <laughs> Bravo, man. Bravo. He won the game! Yeah, no shit. Of course he won the game. Thank you, Robert Seidelman. Also known by his alter ego, Cindy Seidelman, which looks exactly like him. I'm not even going to touch that. Okay, you know what? Hell, on second thought, I have already touched that, haven't I? So... It's kind of a little too late for me to say I'm not going to touch that when I already touched it even before I said I wasn't going to touch it. But, yeah, you get it, right? But this guy, I don't, I don't know. And this guy was from Indiana University? Really? See, this is why I don't go to school anymore, because people are absolutely brainwashed the moment they step into the institution. Because that's when everything goes to hell. And now you know why I don't go to school anymore. Because YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and DeviantArt will give you more of an education in one hour than any school will in eight years. And by school, I mean college, university... Or, well, I mean, hell, a clown school could give you more of an education than an actual university. Like, another university that I parody on my web shows very, very frequently, Harvard, a.k.a. Retard University, right? Good old Retard U. Yeah. Get used to that, right? Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, GSN thought they were gods, so they had to revive card sharks in 2001. And, and, and you know, th this, this, this comment by YouTube user John Fenner pretty much says it all. This is Gary Kroger speaking for card sharks. A Mark Goodson television production. Mark starts doing 360 degrees in his grave at 500 miles per hour. <laughs> Okay, let's let's just see this epic crap show just 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 fully immerse itself in our in our minds. Oh my god. Oh god. Very terrible. Oh, and that's even better. Oh man, that's even better. Oh, oh man, this one is twisted, man. Oh boy. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. He's doubling it up, isn't he? Oh boy, okay. Oh my god. Well, why the hell was he gonna go all of it higher if he knew it was gonna be lower more than mine? Okay, well. Yeah, man. That's it, man. Okay, now you get a chance to make seven thousand dollars. Okay, here we go. There's no, there's only one other card that can beat the king. It's gotta be lower. It's gotta be. There's, there's no way it can be. Low. Oh, there we go. That's, I was about to say if that was a king, that was a king, or, or an ace or whatever. That would have been even worse. Jesus Christ, I mean, oh boy, you, you can't even, I cannot even fathom the sheer cringe of this, of this freaking disaster piece of, of a, of a once popular game show, ah, oh man, who's, whose idea was it to, to bring card sharks back in 2001, right, I mean, I don't know, man. Whose who's idea was it? I mean, good God, man. Good morning. Morning. Nothing much. Just watching the conclusion of a disastrous reboot 
of card sharks gone horribly, horribly right. I mean, my god. Y you think... You think they would have had Pat Bullard host the damn show? Speaking for Card Sharks, a Mark Goodson television production. Oh, that just makes John Finner's comment even more funny. Mark starts doing a 360 in his grave at 500 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my God, people, you can't make this shit up. It's impossible. It's this actually happened. Yeah, you're not living in Kansas anymore. This is... This is reality, people. Reality is painful. And it also hurts a lot. But not nearly as much if you come to accept it for what it is. What happens when you get a game show contestant that can't even pass elementary school? You get the worst game show in modern television history, Are You Smarter Than a Democrat? Also known as Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Also known as Don't Vote for Hillary Clinton because she's a scumbag, scumlord, fuckwit. But you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought, you scum. Yeah. Try getting your head out of that one, right? Yeah, because I guarantee you that's not ever going to happen. Okay, now let's run the damn clip, shall we? Let's run the whole damn thing from pillar to freaking post. And and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm absolutely serious when I say this, because people are legitimately this stupid. Watch carefully. <laughs> Our solar system has the largest ring system around it. What planet in our solar system has the largest ring system around it? Can you picture the planets? Uh, yes, and the ring system. Um, what planet in our solar system has the largest ring system around it? No, nothing to lose. I got this one right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Earth. Earth, okay. Nah. That's, that's not right. It's, it's actually Saturn. We were looking for Saturn. So, not only did you fail second grade, but you also failed life. You failed basic fucking shit. See, this is, this, as, as widely shed on, as this show is, this exposed more Democratic supporters than any other show that came before it or after it combined. Not even the 2001 Card Sharks reboot that I talked about earlier pales in comparison. I mean, the 2001 Card Shark reboot was nothing compared to to the disaster and the dumpster fire that was Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And this was the idea of Mark Burnett. So Mark Burnett, I want to give you a big fuck you for having made this piece of shit, but I also want to give an even bigger thank you for helping expose more liberals in one game show than any other game show in history combined. So fuck you, thank you, bye. Pretty simple, right? And by the way, Mark Burnett, don't take this the wrong way, because I'm just doing this for comedic purposes, but yeah, you, you probably already knew that, didn't you? Right? Right. If you were one of those 63 million people who were fortunate enough to vote Donald John Trump into the presidency, then guess what that means? 